here we have special products of a radical expression, conjugants and squaring. So we're going to multiply these two, that gives me the square root of x squared. We're going to multiply these two, that gives me minus the square root of 3x. We're going to multiply these two, that gives me positive square root of 3x. And then we're going to multiply these two, which gives me a negative square root of 9. Now negative square root of 3x and positive square root of 3x will just cancel out. But the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 9 is 3. And so this is the final expression that I end up with. These are called conjugates. When the front numbers are the same and the back numbers are the same, the only difference is one has a plus and one has a minus. Those are called conjugates. Now here, this is different. This is a square, okay? Which means it is this expression times itself. Now, just FYI, there is no rule that says if you have a binomial and you square it, that you'll get the first term squared plus the second term squared. There's no such rule. And this is actually not true for any A or B value. Um, the only thing that we have is for a product. If they're multiplied together, then we can square each one individually, okay? These are not multiplied together, okay? This one is though. So when I go to square this, um, I will get nine times the square root of x squared, but we don't have to worry about squaring it because we're gonna actually use the definition of what a square means. And that means to take that in the parentheses and multiply it to itself. And then let's go through the foiling process. So this times this, outside times outside, inside times inside, and then outside times outside, and inside times inside. Moving on, I just did those two, moving on to this one. So outside times outside, inside times inside, and then the last term, outside times outside, is just x. Here you have 3 square root of 3x plus 3 square root of 3x. That gives me 6 square root of 3x. And then the square root of 9 is 3. And so this is the final answer. So be careful because if I would have erroneously tried to apply this rule that doesn't exist and I would have squared both of these, I would have ended up with 9x in the end and I would have ended up with 3 in the end but I would not have gotten this middle term. It would have just been completely missing and therefore the response would have been incorrect. So make sure when you see the square on a binomial that you write the binomial twice and then foil